We're located at, at the edge of Park Slope in Gowanus, and that's why, how I kind of named the farm Slippery Slope, because we're at the bottom of the slope here in Brooklyn. Slippery Slope Farm. What's special about this garden? That I have been able to plant everything of my whim and um, an experiment um, with different edible flowers and be able to feed my family and friends and do it in a very inventive way with the sub-irrigation, I suppose, which is uh, basically developing a system where it has water reservoir on the bottom and your plants take the water from the roots versus having to wait for it to come dripping down. So we ended up building these sub-irrigated containers, planters, and basically you have a fill tube that you pour water into and it, the water collects on the bottom. Um, part of the potting mix has to go down into the water reservoir and that part acts as a wick to uh, where, the, where the capillary action moves up to the plant. I grow um, edible and that includes the flowers, all kinds of vegetables. I've got, uh, I think, like 10 varieties of tomatoes and six varieties of peppers and we've got three varieties of cucumbers. I do not buy anything green throughout the season, which started, um, I planted in March and April. So I, I guess starting like sometime in May, I'm, I'm harvesting and last year, I harvested all the way through um, Thanksgiving. I was harvesting kale and, and lettuces. So. The main advantages of sub-irrigation are they, the systems are very user-friendly. You do not need a green thumb. Anyone, including children, can grow both decorative plants and edible plants in sub-irrigated planters. In the range, if we're speaking of growing vegetables, in the range of 50%, more vegetables per square foot than even growing in ground, using in the range of 90% less water. All of the water in a sub-irrigated planter goes to the plant with a little bit of evaporation. It's distributed food production. I chose sub-irrigation as a, a perfect urban method of gardening because it's mobile, I can transport it anywhere, um, it conserves on water dramatically, and it's just a much more productive system. The plants get better yields. They're much healthier and happier.